Hey guys, Alex Limblum here from Snorkel Venture, and today we're going to be talking about fins. The first thing you want to take note of when purchasing fins is the pocket type. There are two different pocket types, and each one serves sort of a different purpose depending on the style of snorkeling you typically do. The first pocket is the full foot. Okay, as you can see, the area where your foot would go is completely surrounded by a soft rubber. Uh, this means that you can just wear your naked foot or maybe with a sock or something like that. This type of fin is really great for people doing a lot of snorkeling uh, via boat, liverboards, day trips, uh, or simply just jumping off of the jetty. Most of the tours that we do on Snorkel Venture are assisted by boat, or for example, the house reef where we would just jump in from the jetty or pier. The second type of pocket is the open heel. As you can see here, the heel is open and uh, with a giant strap in the back where you would then put a booty. This type of fin is for those of you who are doing mostly shore-based snorkeling. In order to get to the site, you might have to walk over some rocks or boulders. This type of fin is going to be your best option as it gives you the booty, which will give your feet some protection. Let's talk about fin styles real quick. If you've looked online at your local shop, uh, you'll probably see that there is a whole bunch of different styles of fin. Some really sort of with crazy designs that look like they might take you to the moon. Others a little bit more simple. Which style is best for you? The long fins, for example, uh, these are really great for freedivers. If you're one of the people who likes to dive down quite deep uh, and practice your breath hold and uh, just to see how deep you can go, this is a better option for you. However, if you spend most of your time on the surface uh, just enjoying the beautiful reef, this is probably not the best option as they're quite long and um, just not very practical, especially when it comes time to pack them in your bag. The shorter fins, these are a lot easier to pack in your bag. However, they don't really help you out too much when it comes time to move from point A to point B. As they're about half as short as your standard fin, it's going to take you about double the fin kicks and double the energy to move the same distance. Okay, so that's something to think about there. The same thing could be said for split fins as they have that giant crack down the middle, which is going to allow water to pass through rather than being pushed away, which is not really going to propel us very much. And finally, my personal choice in fin style and what seems to be the go-to choice for most serious snorkelers is the more traditional fin. Several reasons being is that it's just the right length to propel us across the water easily. It also gives us the option to do some duck diving, and most importantly, it tends to be the cheapest option on the market. So all these different fin styles in mind, each one will have or should have a full foot or a open heel option. So no matter what kind of fin style you choose, there should be an option for both different pocket styles as well. All right guys, that about does it for fins. Please feel free to contact us about fins or any other snorkeling equipment. Um, we're happy to help and I look forward to seeing you on one of the upcoming snorkel safaris.